Hi, I'm Doug, your tech support representative here at Atlantic British. And in this video, we're going to talk about what's affectionately known as the Three Amigos. It shows up a lot on the 99 to 2004 Discovery 2s. It's usually a fault in the ABS system, either associated with a shuttle valve or possibly a wheel speed sensor. But either way, before you, you can even get into doing the repair, you need to find out what's causing it. And that's where you need a good diagnostic tool. So we're going to show you with the iLand uh, diagnostic tool that we now have, how to be able to track that down and determine what's the cause. All right, so this is essentially what you're going to see. You're going to see the ABS warning light, traction control, and the hill descent down in the lower left-hand corner. And that's what's affectionately known as the Three Amigos. So now we're going to show you how to get into the ABS system and get an idea as to what's causing this. All right, so when you click on your island, you're going to be brought to this. And now you'll notice on ours that they're all in red, which means this is the Pro model. And we have access to all these vehicles. If you've purchased it for a single vehicle, say for Discovery 2, 3, and 4, just that area is going to be lit up in red, so it lets you know that it's programmed to do that. So this is a, a 99 Discovery 2. We're going to hit that. And this is what they call the garage disclaimers. We'll just zip by that. Telling you that we're up to date on our version. And we'll hit confirm. And this will connect to the Bluetooth and put us in line with the vehicle. Ah, oh, one thing I forgot. Let's make sure we put the key on. Got to have the key on. Discovery 2. There we go. And we want to look at ABS. Again, it's just telling us make sure we've got key on. And we want to basically look at read full code. So it says ECU ground to reference. And what we did to activate the lights is simply disconnect the main lead from the ABS control module. But what this would do is then at this point, not only would it give you a DTC number, but it would also give you a description as to shuttle valve failure, um, what wheel speed sensor may be causing the issue, uh, or it could even be internal in the module itself. So any of those are actually going to activate those, those lights. So we can back up. Now you could either clear fault memory in this case, but we're going to back up again. We just want to show you. Now you can also go to real-time display and that'll give you the overview. And this essentially is you can choose what you want to look at anywhere in that module. These are all the accessible data that you can go back into and look at. And this will also help you diagnose the system. So let's go back forward again. Let's go back out of that. Let's go back to menu. And we're just going to clear those faults out of there. Hit that on yes. Clear fault completed. And you should be good. And take your vehicle out for a ride, start it up, and it should put the lights out. But that's how you're going to get into the system to determine what's causing the three amigos. All right, so if the three amigos have come on on your 1999 to 2004 Discovery 2, you're looking for a good diagnostic tool to be able to determine what the cause is and fix it, just give a call to any of our knowledgeable salesmen at 1 800 533 2210. Or if you like, you can go online and click on this link and order it online. And if you like our how-to videos, you can click on our YouTube channel and subscribe to that and get a look at any one of the other videos we've already done to help you do your Land Rover. So, we hope you enjoyed the video and uh, Rover on!